Alrighty guys, so today we have another iDog restoration video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the head movement on your iDog pup. Um, this issue is if you have the iDog pup where the head is completely not responding, but you do hear the motor noise. So this issue is caused by a spring that is snapped in the head mechanism and I will show you guys how you can fix that. So we're gonna start by taking apart the four screws on the back of the head. All right, next, what's your next? So our problem is not in the head area, it's gonna be back here. So there is three screws that are holding in this piece. We're gonna take apart this one, this one, and hard to see, but this one. Also, when you take it apart, the reset button will probably fall out. So just keep that over here and remember to put it back in when we're done. Make sure to get all our screws back here. And then the gearbox assembly should pop out. There we go. And there's our problem. One side of the spring is completely broken off. As you can see, there's only one side. What I usually do is I replace this this spring entirely, but in this situation, um, and in most situations, you're probably not gonna have a spare parts iDog pup to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an alternate method. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the screws that are holding this headpiece in place. And it slides the piece off as it goes, but we can just, so now it's just easier. You don't really have to do that step, but it's easier personally. So I'm just gonna slide this piece off. There we go. So I'm just, since this is broken, I'm just gonna cut this off. Okay. There we go. So chances are you're not gonna have a spare. So I'm gonna show you an alternate method. We're gonna use a paper clip. All right, so what I did here is I stretched out this paper clip so we can slide it through the wires more easily. Hook it through, there we go. This part is a bit tricky, but. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna loop this piece into the assembly. I kind of stretched out a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to do. But All right, so I go at the bottom, kind of loop it in like that, there we go. Actually, you know what? Better idea? We should loop it around here. Maybe. No, it won't work. All right, let me just try this. So once you get it in, try to bend it back a little bit. So it stays in place here. So now what you're gonna wanna do is I like to take 
So once you hook it in, there you go, there's a better view. So I loop it in, push it, and I'll take some pliers and I'll bend it in like that. And same with this side. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. See that what I did was I hooked it in and I bended it and I cut it just perfectly. So I looped this around, I stretched it, and then I cut these ends and I used a pair of pliers to tighten that so that that's secure. Now when you put this back in, it might mess it up, so just readjust it when you're done. When you put these screws in for the head, it'll mess it up. Just all you gotta do, it's no big deal. Just readjust, readjust it and retighten it. It also helped to tighten it down here. Just grab it and just tighten it. There we go. Perfect. So now that that's tight, there's no interference when it moves. And now we can put in the mechanism and see if it worked. So it's gonna line up right about here. See that's where the spring is? It's kind of hard to see. See the spring is there. Line it up with the spring. So right there's probably good. So I know for sure that's not in, so it's gonna be in. If you push it that way, that is in. There we go, perfect. That I know for sure is in. But now careful though, because now you don't wanna force the head in any way, because that's going to ruin the spring you just made. Now, I like to make sure to give it a quick test before we reassemble it to make sure it worked. And it very much did. Excellent. So now that we know that worked, we can take it apart. Or we can... So as you can see, it did work. And we're going to also put the ears back on. So now we're going to put the ears back on. All right. Oh, also, I almost forgot. Reset button. Put the reset button back in. go head back and downhill from here so this proves that it is possible to repair and it's turning on This proves that it is physically possible to repair one of these pups without the exact replacement part, which is really nice because it helps for people who perhaps don't have that part or don't like parting out spare dogs. It's basically like new now. And that is how you fix your eye dog pup. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you get. I hope this helps you out. Do this repair for, for you guys at home because this is a somewhat common issue. I feel like it, it. It's it's less common than I think, but it's I've seen it enough to do a video on it, and it's cool that it actually works. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.